Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a highly requested feature that Microsoft reintroduces back into Microsoft Edge for desktop is the marker effect uh, in the uh, title and toolbar at the top of the browser, which basically picks up a bit of the uh, the actual background, as many of you would know, um, from the actual wallpaper and desktop. And that feature was available um behind an experimental flag previously, which Microsoft has since removed. And uh, I've even seen a couple of comments on the channel and people asking um, when is uh, Microsoft going to be reintroducing the marker effect. And just to let you know that although Microsoft has removed the so-called normal experimental flag, we can actually use a command line flag to re-enable a marker um, and marker effect materials in the, um, the actual title and toolbar of Microsoft Edge for desktop. Now just a quick recap um, as to what marker material is all about. Um, according to Microsoft, marker is an opaque dynamic material that incorporates theme and desktop wallpaper to paint the background of long-lived um, windows such as apps and settings. So basically it takes a bit of the background and paints it into the um, window on the top in the title bar and the toolbar. Now, to enable a command line flag, um, as many of you may know, we have to use a shortcut of Microsoft Edge. So um, what we need to do at first is um, copy this command line flag. So I will leave this down below for you to um, copy and paste because it's quite a mouthful, as you can see. And what you need to do is head over to a shortcut, be that on your desktop, in your start menu, or on your taskbar. And you right click on that shortcut, as many of you may know, you click on properties. And here in the target, you will see we get to .exe quotation marks. And then what you need to do, you leave a space and then you delete anything that's there. So you can see I've deleted anything. And then after .exe quotations, you paste that command line flag in. Take note though, you need to leave a space um, between the quotations and the command line flag, else this will not work in most cases. Um, you click on apply and click on OK. Now before we restart the browser, I just want to head to our appearance page and click on light. And you can see currently that there is no um, marker effect being picked up from the desktop background, which is mainly blue. So now we've applied that command line flag. And if I close the browser now, and I reopen the stable version of Microsoft Edge. There we go. You can see now that that blue marker effect has been applied at the top of the browser uh, in the tab strip. And just take note though that for this to work, um, if we just head to our settings page in the stable version, we need to head over to appearance and that command line flag will reintroduce this setting, which is no longer available behind an experimental flag, which says show Windows 11 visual effects in title bar and toolbar preview. And it says adds marker effect to the title bar and toolbar backgrounds when using the default theme as mentioned. So just take note, um, you need to be using the default theme. You cannot be using any other theme else this will not work. And I suggest if you really want to see what's going on, just apply um, the light theme because then you can actually uh, pick up and see that marker effect a lot better than if it's in dark mode as an example. And this also works, by the way, in the preview versions of Microsoft Edge. So that's just a quick way how you can use that command line flag to now test marker and the marker effect now in the stable version of Microsoft Edge until hopefully Microsoft actually rolls that out as an option or a default feature in an up and coming stable version. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.